Welcome back to another episode of Political Boy. And we're starting off with a science fiction horror comedy. Although maybe less, less science fiction, much more comedy. It's a Frankenstein. It's a Mel Brooks film. This is an enormous joke on the Frankenstein monster and the whole story. It's hilarious. It's really great. Anyone who hasn't seen it should see this. This is one of the movies that I would put as um, a must-see before you die. I can't say enough good things about this film. But I have to move on, so that's all we're going to say. You're next. The first thing I want to point out is that they actually spelled it correctly. That it's actually, you are next. Not Y-O-U-R. That was one of the first things that when this when this poster came out, a lot of people were, com were were complimenting them on the fact that it was the correct grammar, which I think is a little weird. Now, this particular movie is sort of well, no, it's not sort of. It's it falls under the survival horror genre. It's it's, it's still a horror movie, but it falls under survival, so it's a subgenre. The whole premise is that. The mother and father are having fiftieth wedding ever. Uh, I think I think it's like their fiftieth wedding anniversary. So their their three ch three boys come back to the house for a dinner, and the boys bring their wives. One has a wife, and the other two have girlfriends. Okay. The oldest brother is a complete dick. If they haven't been children in twenty years, and he's still ragging on his youngest brother about something that he did when he was six. You know, grow up, dude. Seriously, grow up. Oh, you can't take a joke. It's not funny. It hasn't been funny for 30 years. But anyway, mom and dad have tons of money. The middle son and the youngest son, they're in financial problems. So they conspire together that they're going to have their parents killed. And then they would get the money. And that in that, they can also take care of their other problem. Their older dick brother. The problem is that the youngest brother, girlfriend who's Australian, lived up in, I don't know what, I don't remember what she called it, but we would call it the boonies. And that she lived in the middle of nowhere. And nowadays they would call it living off grid. But the way she explains it was more like she was raised in a, a household where they were prepping for an apocalypse to happen. So she learns how to defend all this stuff and she booby traps the entire house. Not in the way of Home Alone where it was funny. She sets up traps that are intended to keep or that are intended to kill the person. Not like in Home Alone where it's he opens the window, goes through and steps on toy cars and slides and knocks his head. No, these were all intended to kill. The guy opens the door, puts his foot in, and steps down on a piece of 2 by 4 that has nails sticking up, and he goes right through it. She causes the entire thing to go completely wrong. Everything's bad. The people that are that were gonna get a cut of the um, the inheritance, they're now pissed because she killed one guy's brother. She winds up kill, killing everybody, including the people that were trying to kill her. And she sets a trap at the front door with an axe. You know, I'm putting my arm, I gotta get my arm on the screen. So uh, the door opens up and boom, an axe comes down and goes right into a police officer. When I watched this in the movie, the friend that I watched it was like, oh, you gotta do it. Like, she was like cheering her. I'm like, no. She's a murderer. She is. She got more kills than the actual killers. They killed three. She killed six. So on to the next one. Twenty days later and twenty eight weeks later. Not gonna discuss because I already did that when we were in the DVD section. And now to leave you with a little bit of a teaser. A little bit of a teaser. The Hammer Horror 8 movie collection. 8. 8 film collection. That's how old these movies are. They were actually on film. 
it's not digital. I'm going to post it up. This is just going to sit there. I'm not going to discuss it. That's going to be in the next video. Because that is the last video. That's the next video. That's the last one I'm doing. That's going to be it. And that's it for this. So if you liked it, push plus the like button. Any comments, go for them in the comment selection. Comment section, because I clearly said comment selection. Uh, keep it clean, people. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do that on Patreon. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.